Hi guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. I already did this and YouTube rejected it because it was 13 minutes long. So, so I'm going to be going really fast with this. And this is kind of long. So first, I put on a moisturizer on my face. And it's the proactive one. And then I put on, you know, the foundation and stuff. What I use is the Maybelline Dream Mate Mousse in Nude Light 4. Okay, and I already got my primer on, like any primer that you have. Um, now I'm going to use Max Auburn Lights. Looks like this. And you just use any lip brush that you have. Just put it on all the way to the middle. And you can move it out just a little bit. Above your crease. Not much. Zip a little bit underneath. Because we're going for this look right here. Like that. Okay, so. Then I'm going to flip the brush over. I'm going to use Max Auburn. No. Auburn White. So use that Max Mulch. So put on the end. Smooth this one up. You're just gonna because we have auburn lights on the other side of the brush and mulch on this side. You're just gonna go like this between them to blend them in. Then with mulch you're gonna take a pencil brush. Then you're gonna like do a V. And go to your knees. Take a burn lace, that same brush, wipe it off. Put the helmet underneath there. Alright. We really want this up. It doesn't look like that on this eye, but we're going to be blending it in and putting the highlight on. We're going to be blending the highlight and everything, and it makes it look really good. I'm going to take a brush like this to do your highlight, and then you're blending with this one. I'm going to take like a, a champagne color, and the thing just fell out. Nice. Put on your brow bone, tear duct in your corner. Now, all the products off the brush, you're gonna blend it. Blend the mulch and the highlight so the mulch doesn't have the harsh line. Then blend it down here, not much down there. Now, the mulch lined up a lot. So take your lid brush, you know, take mulch again, and just, just darken it a little bit. And fix anything you have. You take a pencil, uh, brush like this for your gel liner. This brush I use is a lip liner brush. I don't use it for lip liner. I use it for this, obviously. And I'm going to do your waterline. Oops. 
and you're gonna do it uh, above, just above your lash line, a really thin line. And then, I'm going to take this angle brush, where did it go, over here, angle brush like this, and I'm going to take a black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow you have, I'm just using one from Coastal Scents, and put it on the brush, and then put it on top of your gel liner. Now, I do this because it makes my gel liner stay longer, because I play sports after school, Running and stuff, so you're sweating, so you want your gel liner to stay on. Because when I don't do this, the gel liner goes and it's all over here and all over here and looks a mess. And you don't want that. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I usually hold it there for six seconds, but since we're really short on time, oh, I'm not. <laughs> The easy lash blast lux. What I usually do, I wiggle it by the roots, and I just then I just focus on the tips to make my lashes longer, cause I have really really short lashes. And then the excess, I just put it on my bottom lashes. And then I take any blush that I feel like using this that day. I use my fan brush when I use a pigment. I'm using a pigment blush today. It's a Sun Kiss Blush Blush from Coastal Scents and it works really really good. Top, top off any excess. Smile to the far in your cheekbones. Like this. use any lip that I'm, any lip color that I feel like using that day. I'm just going to use a nude pink. This gives you a nice shot. And this is my everyday look. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye.